everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to Recce Days, a series of videos where I guide you through different areas in different cities that are perfect for photo shoots. So we're going to shoot some photos along the way and I'll give you a few tips on local production in case you ever want to do a photo shoot here for yourself. Today we're in this beautiful area, sandwiched somewhere between the Gothic Quarter and Poblenau. It's called Calle de Ramon Turo. I don't know how good my pronunciation is, but that's what I'm going with. So it's a beautiful little quiet street. It's got easily three or four different backgrounds. You don't actually get too many folk walking through here. So it's pretty peaceful. You've pretty much got the place to yourself. There's one or two people moseying around. For this first shot, I really wanted to make the most of this pink wall. In the evening, the sun falls directly onto it through the trees. We embraced it today, but if you wanted to go for a warm, soft light, I would suggest using some sort of diffusion and that should get rid of those shadows for you. What I love about this little corner of Barcelona is that on this street alone, you have so many different options. As well as the pink wall giving you so many different angles, you can also shoot straight down the street against the yellow textured wall, or there is also this polished concrete wall. One thing that I do want to point out is the time of day. It's about 8 p.m. now. We kind of got here about 7, 7.30. We're shooting this in August in Barcelona, so it's been very hot days, kind of averaging around 30 to 33 degrees Celsius throughout the day. Just a few degrees cooler in the nighttime. So one thing I would say with that, if you are going to shoot here in the summer, is that either get your shoots in super early, probably around 6 a.m. to about 11 a.m., or in the evenings you probably want to shoot sometime after 6 p.m. and the sun sets just now at 9.15. So the great thing about shooting at those times is that the light is always beautiful, the sun is a little lower, you've got a little less harsh shadows, and uh, it's just a lot easier to manage. Okay. On to our second spot. very noisy parakeets in the background but I'll just have to roll with it. So we're just on the road adjacent to Calle de Roman Turo which is what we were just on and on this road you've got a variety of different options. You've got the tram lines. Just getting distracted by a little doggo here. We've got the tram lines which give us a ton of different options. Obviously you can shoot straight down them for some drama. You can get the actual trams in the background to kind of give you that city feel and as you walk down this road here you've got a whole variety of different colors and textured backdrops. As you can just see, we had the sun poke through there. So ideally you'd have a reflector at this time of day or some light depending on how you shoot. But for me, I would just use a reflector and kick some of this light back in, this beautiful low light that we're getting there. And uh, that would make for a beautiful fill on your talent or on your model. Unfortunately, I don't have a reflector with me today, but Helen is still looking glorious. Anyway. tram lines in the background. It's a very sh shaded area but we're catching some really nice sort of backlit scenarios with Helen who's doing a lovely job of, uh, of modelling and uh, once we come towards the end of the street you can pretty much see it on my face here the light has changed and uh, we've got this lovely soft evening light so that'll make for some beautiful pictures. So onwards to our next spot. At the end of the road we've got this beautiful like dusty pink building 
and uh, against the beautiful uh, evening sky you can just about see that the moon's come out there we're starting to lose the light a little bit it's about quarter to nine and the sun sets in about 20 to 25 minutes and it's uh, we're in quite a built-up area, so we're losing the light a little bit. We're making the most of it, and I think we're still getting some great stuff. We started up there in what looks like utter darkness now, and we've shot all the way down, and there's this lovely yellow wall down here. So we're gonna get our last uh, final shots down here, and that'll wrap us up for the day. Hey guys, so as the light fades, we're gonna wrap it up there. There's an absolute abundance of uh, different backgrounds. You didn't, think, you didn't think she was in the video there. Absolute abundance of different backgrounds in this area and just far too many to share with you in one video unless the video was half an hour long or 45 minutes long, however. I will be putting together a PDF uh, with all the details and shots and locations and stuff from the recce. If you want to follow me over on LinkedIn, I will post that there. I'll also include some different information such as Airbnb prices of the area and uh, local restaurants and stuff and recommendations on that as well, which I just didn't get around to in this video, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. If you want to see the rest of the series, which will be coming very soon, make sure you subscribe and like the video and I will see you on the next one. Thanks guys. Thank you.